Hi everyone, this is Abhishek and in this video I am going to talk about how to build Babel plugins and what is AST, like AST is used in uh, while building Babel plugins and also two, uh, two months back I posted on my LinkedIn that I will be taking a session on building Babel plugins but I was not able to take uh, some time you know due to my busy schedule and I was not able to take the time and so I am posting this video. Uh, to show you how to build Babel plugins and uh, so without wasting any time let's start the tutorial so I will just open like you can directly open astexplorer.net you don't need to set up an ID or you know your folder structure and all you don't need that you just need to open this site and just check this language JavaScript because AST can be generated on any language not just JavaScript so we will just write a small code to better make you understand we have a simple code here like simple variable declaration here so you know we have this tree here uh, that you know the root is program and you can see this like from where it is starting and like where it is ending so let's just see what the body is here so inside the body we have this variable declaration okay so we have one more variable here Okay, so in this body we have two variable declaration. So as many, you know, block of code. I mean, like as many code you will put in here, like in your file, uh, the more you will know, the more node you will create on the right side. Just write a function, and let's see what happens. it will just console log one and this function is over okay so you can see how easily it is showing our nodes function declaration variable declaration and variable declaration so inside this variable declaration we have variable declarator so you can see when you highlight uh, hover on this then you can see on the left side we have a highlighted part a is equal to one so that is the variable declarator and the variable we are using I, I mean it is used constantly used to declare the variable okay and here it is similar and you can see when you click on this one you can also see the initialization part and it is two okay let's see what happens in the function part so inside this function function is also considered as a you know program so in this function we have uh, is you can see all this thing like it is generator function no it is an async function no we have this body and the body contains a block of code you can see the highlighted part on, part on the left side and inside this, that block we have one expression statement you can put more expression also here So inside this body we have again variable declaration and expression. Expression is simply calling something. So we have we are calling this you know call expression and number expression. Okay. So let's forget about it. So what? So you will ask like what? You know what we need to learn to create a plugin or you know Babel plugin or something which we can use to transform this code into something else. So right now you don't need anything so we just need to click on this transform and we will use babel right now okay so if you are developing a babel plugin then you will need to write this code and this code will be executed on each of the files you have you know given to the babel plugin and you will have to put this code inside this uh, babel plugin array uh, if you are using a config and you can also create a file and put the location of that file inside the plugin array okay uh, i will talk about this later if you're not understanding how you to use it i will just go to the part like me our main function is this identifier you uh, so as you can see this is an n array tree like they are binary tree so this is n array tree. it can have any amount of children infinite amount of children and so you must be wondering you mu you need to learn you know traversal of tree you don't need to do that like you should know because it is one of the most important thing 
if you are doing front end or like you should know dsl but here babel has made our life easier you don't need to you know like if you are into development just you can do it so let's see how like how much easy it is okay so we i was just console log path okay and i will just see my console here so inside this console we have like six node path okay so you can see okay node path we will just see what is the first node path so my problem statement right now is i want to put an underscore be before every variable name suppose a b and f i want to put underscore this is my problem and i want to solve it so how i will solve it so like you say this one like it is diff this structure is little bit different from the babel structure so babel uses a little bit of different structure so i will just show you here this is a node and you know you will see shake why we are we, do, we can't we don't see type start and log program and so this is babel and this one is used to you know um, this one you know is used by like i don't know i think this is a parser and this is a transformer so i don't have much idea why it is different but if you are using babel then you have to follow this structure not this one okay so how you will differentiate if you are renaming a variable or something else so let's just see a variable is has a variable declaration and it has a you know kind so this has a little bit different structure so we will see where is value of declarator so we can see not the parent but the container so this thing is a container okay and its type is variable declarator so what i will do is just try to print container dot type okay so we have this variable declarator okay so we have printed the variable declarator or we will check i will just convert this thing inside a you know if uh, if block because i don't want to write it and i will want to print and see what is happening okay variable declarator okay so our spelling is correct okay yeah true false false true okay i will convert it into a if block Cool. Okay, so we have a if block, and if it is variable declared, this block will be executed. We just need to see what we can do to you know rename this variable. So inside this, we can see like I don't have much idea. I don't. I haven't worked much on this Babel thing. So you can see we have this name as a. So if we modify this name. then we can do something here so the name is inside node name okay so what code i will write here is path sorry i'm sorry path dot node dot name okay path dot node dot name and i will just concatenate i mean concatenate underscore so you can see here our output is this code underscore a underscore b underscore f so you can see how easily with only you know two line of code if and this line of code using this code we have generated a code like this what you can do is we can you can also write an ugly fire like there are many similar thing like ugly fire js and so you can also write similar to that you will just put all the you know this function inside a hash function you can also do something like this uh what you can do is sorry a to b okay i don't know like how it is used but leave it right now okay 
sorry what I'm doing I don't know see how it, how it is, uh, easy it is so if you have a similar problem you can do it you can also do something like uh, as you can see on the previous example uh, the code what was the the code was doing we was it was just reversing the call expression so you can do anything with this you can you know you can modify the whole code you just need to know how this you know you have to work a little bit on this one because you have to understand the structure of babel you can see a uh, different you know different type of compiler has different structure suppose if you use uh, typescript then it has a little bit different structure so just console log this node can this you can see how different is it like it is totally different not totally but it is i think there are a lot of things attached to it no like uh, it is tough for me to read so let's skip it like so you can understand like every you know a compiler has different type of structure and uh, okay so i'll just leave it here and uh, what you can do is to if you want uh, i will show one more thing here this is the plugin i created once and uh, this the code is not a lot clear but you can see what i am doing i what i was doing is uh if you have uh, export like this uh, so you have to you know write in the plugin array um what imports you want to add and uh, here I, I i also forgot like <laughs> what i did here but uh, it it's later clear if your code looks like this suppose in your index.js file you have imported and uh, exported it by default then you can put convert the code something like this okay your code will be converted into this i mean this so yeah you can create anything if you want using this you know babel so let's just stop here and uh, build you just if you want to learn something then start building your own projects and you will definitely learn it and uh, yeah bye bye